everybody, and thank you so much for joining us for another Downtown Rotary Connects. Today we have an unbelievable man with us today. He is really got a lot of solutions for the troubles we're having right now in our current state of the world, in our job markets, and, and he has a passion for this. He believes in it and he wants to share these amazing products that can make you me and our our workplaces healthier so let's welcome jay como thank you so much jay for being here with us thank you appreciate that yes and you are the owner of edm facilities what does edm stand for uh, edm is a, is an acronym for environmental disinfection management which is really at the crops at the at the crux of what we're experiencing today, and uh, I got into it long before I knew this was coming. You know, six years ago practically, and it's uh, uh, timely in many many ways. It definitely is, and we'll talk a little bit about um, your company here in just a minute. But I want to get straight into the solutions that you have right now, currently at your disposal to help. Uh, healthcare facilities to maybe even help workplaces make their buildings, their rooms, th their spaces healthier. And I want to start off with UV Angel. Uh, what is UV Angel and what does it do? Well, UV Angel uh, is uh, a company that that's specializes in um, uh, three different technologies presently, uh, soon to be more in other verticals, but right now uh, we primarily are involved with uh, continuous 24-7, 365 air purification at room level. Uh, we also have a high touch uh, technology referred to as ADAPT series, which addresses uh, the high touch surfaces in, uh, in the healthcare environment, hospitals, offices, uh, namely the keyboards and touch screens. Uh, and then the other technology deals with uh, purification and charging of uh, your iPhone or cell phone, whatever phone that you're using. Uh, the last two that I just mentioned absolutely happen to be the, the two dirtiest targets in the healthcare setting, your phone and your keyboards. Yeah. And I think people take it for granted. Uh, unfortunately, just wiping it down is not enough. Mm -hmm. And so the, the main crux of it is, is that we use, it's the safe use of UVC technology. UVC is the gold standard and has been for years in uh, deactivating or and irradiating uh, more than 50 to 60 known uh, viruses and pathogens and what have you. And uh, if you would like me, I can take them one at a time. It doesn't take very long. Uh, the, the first that deals with UVC air purification is quite simply a retrofitted uh, fixture that goes into the ceiling uh, where an existing light fixture may be, or if there's not a light fixture, you can still put it up in the ceiling grid. Uh, it's a two by four in size and uh, it operates 24-7, 365, purifying the air where it's installed. Uh, with proper installation, uh, we have not seen uh, one study that did not show an improvement. And this is the UV Angel we're talking about. UV Angel Air is, uh, is, the, uh, is the ceiling mounted fixture, correct. Yeah, and that can go into buildings. And so essentially that just brings the air in, as you said, how many times a day? Well, it, it'll re when it's properly installed, it'll recycle the air uh, four times per hour. Whoa! It's installed, and, uh, and and it's and I might say that it is not ducted to anything. It is a standalone technology. Dirty air in one vent, clean air out the other. In between, the air the air with the pathogens in it passes through a UV chamber that can be closed and not exposed to the to the staff or workers. Mm -hmm. On a first pass basis, we get a, almost a 100% kill rate on things like Corona, uh, influenza, tuberculosis, uh, MRSA, uh, mold. There's all of those 
culprits that cause problems yeah. uh, in various facilities with contamination. And how do you see um, these working outside of the healthcare system? Because this is these were you're mainly targeting these towards healthcare facilities, but how how are these going to work outside of that realm? Very good question. Thank you. Uh, it's an ideal technology for the return to work timeframe post COVID, uh, where you want to create an environment that's safe for the uh, the workers the customers, the patrons, whomever, uh, mm -hmm. by giving them a, a safe office or a room. I mean, for example, they would be much safer with this installed in a conference room when they're having meetings. It goes great in break rooms. Because uh, it, uh, uh, it, we've had tests uh, show this in every one of those kinds of settings. And uh, you can actually tell the difference because it does eliminate odors where it's installed. and odors is bacteria yeah people don't think of it that way but if something smells it's usually bacteria and uh, so that's and, and that's basically uh, and another thing our chief science officer who used to be with MD Anderson uh, she always made a statement she said if you could see the air it would scare you you know there are upwards to eight times more bacteria and pathogens in the air than are on the surfaces and wow. that's it yeah so it's uh if you can eliminate a lot of uh, air uh, bacteria and pathogens it also reduces surface bacteria due to settling it's kind of like that snow globe at christmas you shake it and you see all the flakes floating can th think of that as being pathogens and if they're not drawn out somewhere somehow to kill them they settle down to the surface so that's just another way of helping with surface bacteria in an yeah. indirect way. Yeah, and, and then talking about actual actual surfaces, you you um, mentioned earlier uh, a study about healthcare facilities and some of the dirtiest places were the the workers' keyboards and their phones. And the next two products were that you mentioned earlier help with that. They 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 help put UVC light on. The keyboards and on the phones can you can you tell me is there is there a couple of studies that you have on that and how those products help yes there there are third third party studies uh, and um, just real quickly uh, someone might ask well how can you have a uv lamp on a keyboard it could burn your hands right but it's it, the, the keyboard the, this particular technology the, the adapt high touch series has sensors so that when your hands go to type, the light goes off. Oh. When your, hand, when your hand pulls away, the light comes back on. And there's three indicators on the on the unit. Red is dirty, green is clean, and blue is disinfecting. So if you walk up to your computer and you see a green light, that means it's been purified. Okay? It's all about time that it takes to kill something on that surface based upon the distance that the UV lamp is from that surface. Okay, you are blowing my mind. Okay, and so the next product is the uh, UV Angel Adapt here for the phone, the cradle. What did you call okay, that one? Thank you, that's the Aura Clean and Charge. Oh, and okay. It's a, what it is is a saddle that you mount your phone on and it's adjustable. Uh, and uh, while it's in the saddle, it's being cleaned 360 degrees around by UV light, a mild UV lamp, light uh, source, and um, which is in the saddle itself. And then while that's happening, it's being charged. Now, unlike other types of technology that do that, you don't have to put it in a box where you can't see it while it's being cleaned. It sits on the saddle, right on your desk. You can adjust it to where you're sitting. So mm -hmm. you can monitor your incoming calls, emails, and texts. Really phenomenal. Surgeons love it. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. true. Okay, and that's called the Aura, A-R-A, Clean and Charge. That's correct, yes. Okay. Uh, those are spe those are three spectacular things. So let's talk a little bit about your, your company, mm -hmm. um, EDM Facilities. You said you started it just a few years ago in 2015. What inspired you to start this, 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 this business? 
Well, I, I, I had been involved for quite a while in philanthropy related to healthcare. Uh, I was very blessed to be uh, uh, on, a, on a very, very proactive board, uh, a guild board at, at Texas Children's Hospital. It was the Cancer Center Board, uh, which is uh, just a guild board, I guess, to Texas Children's Hospital. And just a wonderful group of people. Um, and we were able to, to see the tremendous improvement uh, that was being made in research and, and results from on that research and providing uh, very high cure rates for pediatric cancer. And uh, another board that I really enjoyed was uh, another guild board at Baylor College of Medicine. It was referred to as BRASS, which is an acronym for Baylor Research Advocates for Student Scientists. And we would mentor incoming MD, PhD students to teach them how to interact with the lay people in their society. And the trade-off on that was, is that we got to, to be mentored by them on science. So it was a really, really neat uh, organization, still exists by the way. And, uh, uh, but that in association with, with other uh, uh, shorter stints with some of the other healthcare related uh, organizations, it really got me interested in it. And uh, some very, very close friends of mine that uh, were able to, uh, identify one of the original inventors of this technology. It, it has since evolved into this generation. Uh, they got me involved and I got hooked. I uh, couldn't get it out of my mouth. <laughs> That's how it happened, you know? Uh, it's just a lot of fun. Uh, traveled all over the place. Uh, our technology, the first generation is in St. Jude's waiting areas. There's uh, uh, several hospitals that I was directly involved in about 26 of them. And um, it's, uh, it, it's just, um, it's all about infection prevention and control, whether it's a hospital or whether it's a commercial office building where people want to come back to work. Uh, any place where there's going to be uh, pressure with, you know, close proximity to others. Mm -hmm. uh, this technology can can be very very value added. I love it. That's it's so timely, and we definitely need something like this so people do feel safe to return back to work. And it's more than just a perception; it's mm -hmm. a reality. It does provide that. You can have all the signs up saying this property is is being the air is being purified by such and such and such and such. That's great, and it adds comfort as long as it really works. Yeah. You know? I this does but you guys do have the science behind it because these are all these are all tested through third parties correct correct that's amazing and so if somebody wants to get a hold of you get a little more information on these maybe even figure out like myself how to get one of the phone cradles <laughs> how, how can we get in touch with you how do we get to learn more about these products well my my website is um, edm hyphen facilities.com and uh, my my phone number is 281-782-3321 happy to, to chat with anybody perfect I, I chatted with you and like I said you are blowing my mind with what you're offering what your company is able to do I want the UV angel in my home <laughs> well thank you so much Jay thank you so much for joining thank us you. really you've got an amazing product I'm so excited to share the word about it and uh, thank you all for joining us here for downtown rotary connects we'll see you next time by Tiny Sparrow Marketing. To learn how we can help the world see your business the same way you do, visit us at tinysparrowmarketing.com.